Simon. And my name is David Garfinkel. Our game is going to be called the Rubik's Slide. So the object of the game is that you're given an initial configuration, and you, by using legal moves, you have to get to the final configuration. Uh, the rules of the game are as follows. You are given an initial configuration, which is going to be a set of boxes that are colored with one or more different colors. You're then also going to be given a final configuration, which is the same set of boxes, which is going to have the same amount of colored boxes, but in different positions. There are six possible transformations you're able to do to these boxes, and you end up with an ordered sequence, which is usually not going to be unique. There are multiple paths that you could take of those transformations that should be implemented to achieve the final configuration. So some of the legal moves in the game is one of them is clockwise or counterclockwise. So as you can see here, the clockwise shift shifts everything 90 degrees to the right, and the counterclockwise shift shifts all the colors 90 degrees to the left. Uh, another legal move are going to be shifts. You can shift it left, shift it right, shift it up, or shift it down. As you can see here on the simple 2x2 two two toy version, a left shift and right shift is going to give you the same result because when you shift to the right or the left, what you do is once a column gets pushed off the board, it resets to the beginning of the board. And same thing, the upshift and downshift are going to be exactly the same for the same exact reason in the toy version. Um, an example of gameplay here is, as you can see, the initial condition uh, configuration we have, it has a red box over a blue box still left. And we're trying to get to the final configuration of a blue box on the, on the top and the red box on the bottom of the right. So you can see that one way to do this is you can do two 90 um, degree clockwise shifts, or you can do a right shift and an up shift. There's many ways, as you can see, to get to, from the initial to the final. Uh, there are different difficulties of the game. We're going to focus on the 4x4 four four game. The easy difficulty is going to be one colored block and 90 degree rotations. Medium difficulty is two colored blocks, both still the same color, and 90 degree rotations. And the hard difficulty is going to be two different colored blocks, uh, so two blocks total, and only 30 degree rotations per rotation. So some of the open problems we're going to look at is um, God's number, which is the least uh, number of moves to get from the initial configuration to the final configuration. We're exploring God's number for a 4x4 four four game with two different colors, box, and a 90 degree rotation. So that's our game. We hope to see you guys at our final.